as we get down to the end of the season, there's always talk about postseason awards, things like the Triple Crown, the uh, Cy Young, maybe the Gold Glove Award. So how do players qualify um, to receive these awards? Because maybe you have a guy who comes up late in the season uh, from the minor leagues, he gets up, he gets one at bat, and he gets a hit. Um, technically, he's batting a 1,000 on the year, and he'd be leading the league in, in batting average. But obviously, it's not fair to give him an award um, for such a small sample size when you have other guys who have been out there the entire season proving um, consistently how good of a player they are. So baseball set up certain uh, standards that these guys have to, to meet, and this is, is rule, rule 1022 um, of the rule book. And so it sets up three different categories, batting, pitch, and fielding. Um, so for, for hitting, for things like triple crown is just um, who has um, the highest stats in, in certain categories. Um, guys need to have had at least 3.1 at bats per team game. So oh, typically 162 games or major league season, and if you multiply that out, um, it's 503 um, at bats throughout the course of a season. So this isn't an incredibly high um, amount because guys will typically have um, four if they're higher in the batting average, maybe five at bats in a game. So it does give you some time, um, maybe to take a few days off throughout the course of the year, even if you you get hurt and are out for a while. Um, you could still qualify for that award, though. Pitchers, it's a little bit easier because, it, as far as the math goes, because it's just one inning pitch per team game. So if you have over that 162 um, innings mark, um, then you would qualify for the, the pitching awards. Um, for starters who are throwing five, six, seven um, innings every outing, um, they should be able to get there. Maybe a little bit tougher for relievers who, depending on the situation, maybe they're only throwing part of an inning, um, depending on how their manager likes to use them. So um, could be more difficult for relievers there. But then again, if you're uh, not a very good uh, starting pitcher, you're only throwing once every five days. Um, so you need to get your innings um, while you're in there. Fielding, as far as the Gold Glove Award goes, um, it's divided into two categories. The catcher, who's obviously um, a little more involved in the action. He's working every single pitch. Um, so the rules say you have to have caught one half of the um, your team games. So obviously this is eight, eight, 81 um, games that you would have had to caught. For anybody else, for infielders, for outfielders, you have to have played two thirds of the games at that position. So uh, over the course of the season, we're looking at about 108 games that you have had to play at those positions. And so if you meet those benchmarks, you're above those um, numbers, and that means that you qualify um, to be at least considered for these uh, postseason awards.